Hey there friend, welcome to the video tutorial, how to know if a wedding vendor is fairly priced. I am the owner of Sixpence Events and Planning, Josie Stafford, and without further ado, let's dive right in. Da -da 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 -da. Wedding photography packages starting at $2,500? What the what? And that's only for seven hours of coverage, huh? If you have had those thoughts and you are unconvinced of the value of a $2,500 photographer, then perhaps that photographer is not right for you. And that is fine. That is just fine. I mean, to each their own, right? But if you do love compass photography, you love their work, you like the way their images are edited, and the fact that you can opt for film, you might want to take a look around. Find two to four similar vendors. You can even ask your planner for recommendations on comparables. Maybe research on your own. Ugh. You'll quickly realize that there is value to that price. So educate yourself. You can always find higher price vendors and lower price vendors. What you want to know is what's included. Do you even like them, their product or service, and what's their quality? I've got a blog all about the keyword and it's gonna help you out. And I even made a bit.ly for you so that it's easy to find. Um, so go ahead and click that link when you're done watching this video and I'll include it in the notes below. So let's say um, a venue costs, um, maybe the starting rental for that venue is $3,600. Okay, so maybe you're wondering, can I afford that? But first let's stop. Let's look at what's included in that rental. So we've got French Bistro chairs. Similar pretty chair rentals start at about $11 per chair. Okay, so that's included. Whitewash tables. That means that there's no linen necessary. And linen, floor length linen, that yields pretty empty room photos is like $25 per table. And that's for plain old ivory linen. And farm tables, those run about $50 per table. So that's included. Bridal suite and a groom hangout spot. That means a place to get ready in the AM so there's no suite necessary at whichever hotel you're staying. Ceremony pew seating, again, no chair rental necessary. Seven chandeliers, that gives you incredible ambiance. And I could take the time to explain how a chandelier might cost $150 just to rent, but then you have to pay for the rental company to drop it off, to install it, to come back and pick it up and uninstall it but I'm not going to, because you get it. There's seven chandeliers included in your rental. We've got a fire pit and patio lighting. Cafe lights are about $34 for 15 feet. Um, okay, so you have to string them. You have to figure out how many 15 feet of lights per whatever you need. That doesn't even make sense, but you get it. It's already included, they're already hung. And farm animals. Bah. Okay, so there is a cost, but there are things that are included. If you want a budget-friendly wedding in general, then really be careful and don't try so hard to make your wedding completely match what's on your Pinterest board because there's no price tags on those and a lot of those images might be from style shoots where there is no budget because they're only doing one table or one, <laughs> one place setting. And perhaps a venue or a vendor is popular, so they can charge more. Perhaps they use organic ingredients locally sourced. Maybe they even pay their employees fair wages with benefits, or even they just staff enough employees to make your wedding guests feel really well taken care of. Think about this you and your fiance head out for a date night. You grab dinner at a nice restaurant, you eat salads and entrees, appetizers, two drinks each, dessert, plus you tip 20%. So let's say your bill for two people is $144. That's $72 per person. 
Now multiply that per person number by how many guests you're inviting to your wedding. See how it adds up? And don't be scared by that dollar sign. Really think about what you value for your wedding. And please, 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 don't get mad at vendors simply looking to run a business, afford health insurance, and maybe even pay their employees. So let me summarize. How to know if your wedding vendor is fairly priced. Find comparable businesses, understand quality and value, there's that Q word again, meet with vendors to form a relationship so you know if you like them. And what if after all of that, this vendor is still over your budget? What should you do then? Well, you can ask if there are other packages, perhaps they have an hourly rate that you can convert to, or maybe by picking up or dropping off your rental equipment, you can save on some dough. And lastly, re-examine your budget. Maybe you can shuffle around those numbers so that you're spending money on the things that are important to you and saving the things that are just fluff for maybe a vow renewal. Take a deep breath. <sighs> and no, your wedding is going to be lovely. And if you're getting stuck on dollar signs, then you might want to reevaluate what is important to you and your fiance. As far as it goes to committing your lives to one another in front of loved ones. Here's some extra help. Make sure that you continue to take deep breaths, kiss each other often, and I'm wishing you prosperity, love, and happiness in finding your vendors.